हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टे हेल्दी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट साइंटिफिक मैनेजमेंट थ्योरी फेडरिक विंस्लो टेलर इज फादर ऑफ साइंटिफिक मैनेजमेंट ही फाउंड सॉल्यूशन ऑफ इनएफिशिएंसी बाय ऑब्जर्विंग वर्क प्रोडक्टिविटी थ्रू साइंटिफिक मेथड्स principles of scientific management is a book which is written by f w taylor and this book introduces the scientific methods of work according to f w taylor there is one best way or we can say that there is one exact procedure of doing every job and we can find this one best way if we do work according to scientific methods main aim of this theory to improve productivity and efficiency by using scientific methods so many organization like toyota microsoft mcdonald's actually use scientific methods in their work place now we'll see principles of scientific management first principle science not rule of thumb taylor focused scientific methods should replace old rule of thumb because the rule of thumbs are not based on exact measurement but scientific methods are based on cause and effect according to taylor even small task of loading iron pigs into box car can be done scientifically and doing a task scientifically can reduce time and wastage of resources second principle harmony not discord that means there should be no conflict between manager and workers both should realize importance of each other and work together in order to achieve organizational goal next principle is cooperation not individualism this principle is extension of harmony no discord principle as we know cooperation means you are working together individualism means you are working in your own way according to taylor there should be cooperation between manager and workers not individualism and in order to achieve this principle manager should welcome ideas and suggestions of workers and workers should avoid unreasonable demand and strikes next principle is development of each and every person to his greatest efficiency as we know effectiveness of any organization depend on abilities and skills of their employees that's why organization should provide training learning and technology to their employees and organization should use scientific method to boost up the skill of their employees now we'll see techniques of scientific management there are five kind of techniques functional foremanship work study in which we see method study motion study time study and fatigue study standardization and simplification of work differential piece rate system mental devaluation one by one we discuss about each first technique is a functional foremanship that means having multiple foremen in different specialized role and here we have total eight foremen four will work in planning department four will work as a production in charge planning department include route clerk instruction card clerk time and cost clerk and disciplinarian route card clerk will decide route and sequence of task instruction card clerk will responsible for writing instruction for workers time and cost clerk will responsible for preparing time and cost sheet disciplinary obviously responsible for maintaining discipline and in production as a production in charge we have speed boss gang boss repair boss and inspector speed boss will ensure workers are performing at expected speed gang boss is responsible for arranging and keeping tools machinery material ready for work repair boss take responsibility to keep machinery and tools in proper working condition inspector will check quality or we can say that inspector is responsible for quality next technique is a work study work study include method study motion study time study and fatigue study method study means finding one best way of doing every job and method study try to improve work method in order to reduce cost motion study mainly study about uh, movements uh, like lifting putting objects uh, sitting changing positions so that we can identify and eliminate unnecessary movement next is a uh, time study time study used to decide standard time taken by workers 
fatigue study exam is how long employees are working and how often they are uh, taking rest or we can say the how often they are taking breaks next technique is standardization and simplification of work standardization means set standard for process product quality as well as for working condition and work according to these standards simplification means making something less complicated and easy to understand that means uh, eliminate unnecessary varieties, uh, sizes and dimension. Next, differential uh, piece wage rate system. This is wage payment technique in order to motivate uh, workers. According to this technique, we pay higher piece rate to those workers who produce more than standard output and pay less piece rate to those who produce less than standard output. Suppose our standard output is 100. A workers produce 120 which is more than standard output that's why we will pay to him higher piece rate. On the other hand B worker produce only 80 units which is less than standard output so we will pay him less piece rate. Next is a mental revaluation that means a total change in attitude of workers and management towards each other. Both should realize they require each other and both should have aim to achieve organizational goal as well as earn more profit for their organization. Now we will say criticism. This theory only focus on productivity and ignore uh, emotions of employees. Unrealistic theory because only focus on financial and physical needs of employees and ignore social status and ego needs of employees. But actual employees have social status as well as ego needs. And uh, time and motion studies given by Taylor are incomplete. And this theory ignore team work. And this theory give very little autonomy to workers. And this theory is in the favor of rich capitalistic, not in the favor of workers. So this is all about scientific management theory. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.